Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a bottle ballerina wind spinner while upcycling or reusing a pretty common protein drink plastic bottle. You will start by removing the label and you can use the bottom of the bottle as a template for each one of the flaps that you're going to be cutting out. I'm using a dry erase marker, mainly to represent the areas that you should cut, but it's an optional step. I'm going to show you how to efficiently do some of these steps, but they don't need to necessarily be in a particular order. I found this workflow to be a little bit more easy and more efficient with the whole process. A complete material list will be listed in the description of this video, but as far as drill bit use, I would just say target something slightly bigger than the screwers you end up using. During this check, ensure that the bottle freely spins around the skewer. During some of these steps, I found it easier to use an X-Acto knife, but you can use scissors as well. You will save the bottom of the bottle to use later in the process. I will now draw out the direction that the arms should be cut. Basically, they should be pointing in a clockwise direction. This is a key step mainly because when you cut out the arms, you want them to be facing in the same direction as the flaps for better performance. Be very safe in this process while cutting the arms out and ensure that you take your time with it. Once you have cut out both arms, you can then lift them up and they will automatically be facing the direction of the rest of the flaps. Although this plastic bottle is very soft and easy on the hands, I recommend cutting out any of the pointy corners and it's also good for aesthetics. The areas that I'm marking here is a good indication of how each one of the flaps should be bent. Once the flaps are bent, you are able to open them up and you will notice that they now have sort of a fan shape to it. You will now use the bottom piece to close the lower section of the bottle. For this project, I decided to use double-sided adhesive dots. They're heavy duty and they've come in handy when not wanting to use a glue gun or other adhesives. Feel free to use whatever you think is best. This is a very important step. Ensure that the bottom piece is well centered because it'll help with spinning performance.
You may now position the bottle into the skewer stick and just make sure that the top of the bottle is lowered at least half an inch from the top of the skewer stick. You will make your mark on the skewer stick where the bottom of the bottle was sitting at. You can place a double sided glue dot here or add any kind of glue or adhesive which is going to be where the washer will eventually sit on. You are now ready to feed the washer through the skewer stick, which will serve as a platform for the bottom of the wind spinner. You can now put the top washer on, ensuring that there's enough clearance on the top of the bottle. A test run is needed to make sure that the bottle freely spins. In the description of this video, you will find a link to where you can find this PDF printout of the bottle ballerina legs and lips. In this tutorial, I'm using a very thin sheet of plastic that I had from a different project, but feel free to use any kind of white milk jug or even cardstock. It all depends on how long you want this wind spinner to last. You will add the double-sided adhesive dots and ensure that there's enough clearance from the legs and the actual wind flaps. A pro tip here is if the knee interferes with any of the wind flaps, feel free to trim down the knee a little bit or any part of the leg that seems to be interfering. You are now ready to paint and decorate. We chose blue for our particular bottle ballerinas because it's my daughter's favorite color. The bottle itself has a film that doesn't really let typical paint stick. I try spray painting and other types of paint, but the one in the description shown in this video is the only one that I could get to actually work and stay on. If you do choose to spray paint, I would suggest not handling any of the flaps and make sure that it's the last process you do because the spray paint will want to flake off. You can use pretty much anything to decorate it. We chose this specific type of jewels because my daughter is very used to working with them and they're very lightweight. And by using just a couple of them shouldn't affect the performance of the spinner. Feel free to add in a comment section any kind of tips or tricks as I enjoy reading a lot of the feedback. I hope you were able to find this tutorial helpful. Please feel free to share, like, and also subscribe for future videos that are going to be very similar to upcycle projects that are very unique. Thank you guys for watching.